Hey guys, what's up? This is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to a new video. Now in this video, I'm going to, well, hopefully fix the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro joystick. It's not, it's, its range of movement is not entirely as you'd expect it to be. So if we hold down control and shift whilst click properties, uh, a different window will come up. Um, which obviously also allows you to calibrate. Now, if I move the stick all the way to the right, you can see the little crosshair is not over here. All the way to the left works, but all the way to the right doesn't. And if we move it down whilst holding it all the way to the right, you can see a, yeah, some kind of a curve or something. And if I rotate the stick, you can also see that the Z axis is not entirely yeah, calibrated it looks like but if we actually calibrate it so in the middle you can see that it's it's here here's that strange edge or something the one second it's doing that and the other second it's don't so it looks like it's a hardware issue. So now, yeah, again, it's not centered. So now we do the throttle axis, which is working fine. Now the Z turn axis, you can see that the whole, there's a whole bar missing at the right. And yeah, that set calibration finished. So yeah, well, the Z axis rotation is now working, so it, it I, th I don't think it will be the same potentiometer, but they certainly both have the same issue. So let's go over to the bench, uh, take this thing apart, and hopefully see what the problem will be. So we're on the bench, and before I get started with the actual teardown of this thing, please let me know if you like the idea that I mentioned in the previous video regarding a fully open source start to finish uh, Linux, well, custom embedded system uh, project in which I will cover the PCB design, the software and compiler choices uh, and various other things. Uh, Linux, uh, drivers, some sample applications. Uh, so please let me know if you are interested in such a video series in which I will cover well, that from start to finish, and maybe I'll do it. And secondly, what do you think of my new camera angle? Now, I've uh, gotten a LED, a ring LED, which was a present to me. And if I turn it off, you can see it, it so now it's on, now it's off. And you can edit the brightness. So it's and also the color temperature so this is a warm color temperature this is the cold this is the mixed now i am using the cold color temperature because that will match the best with my other 200 watt led which i'm also yeah using it's over here and if i block it you can really see that it's also working so let me know, I will include a picture of how the setup right now on the screen. Looks pretty funny, eh? It's a little bit of a MacGyver setup, but hey, it works, so you don't hear me. Let's proceed with the video. I saw that there are a couple of screws and they're all Phillips, so let's grab a Phillips head and let's take them all out. I'm going to assume that they're pretty much all the same and I'm also going to assume that we can take off the bottom without having to disassemble the actual joystick because um, in my reverse engineering video you saw I had to fully disassemble the actual joystick itself too because otherwise you wouldn't get to the microcontroller and the actual PCB that the joystick is mounted on. 
Yes, they are all the same screws. Which is really nice, because you can't mess that up then. Now I'm expecting to be able to lift this whole part straight out of the, well, its feet basically. So that we can uh, have a look at what's inside. Now I think that there are just some potential meters that have some dust or dirt in them. And hopefully when uh, clearing that, the joystick works as expected. I do have another joystick. There were two next to each other in the thrift shop. And I was like, yeah, you can take the risk to buy one. But yeah, you know, sometimes people with damaged electronics go to the thrift shop to, um, yeah, get them away. Uh, so there was a chance that the thing didn't work and I'm glad I took two of them because indeed one is not fully functional. I'm not sure what I have to say about this. We're seeing the potential meters over here but we're also not able to separate it from the underside. Well, there's a nice metal plate over here. That's Oh, that's where the weight is. Uh, it's quite weighty, the thing. A nice uh, microcontroller. I think that's just the analog control system. That's my RSD. No, that's the USB controller. So there's a PCB over here. That's the USB controller. And it also gets all the... Yeah, that's the USB encoder. It gets all the data from a... PCB that's mounted over here. I can't seem to find a... So it's a single chip for the whole system. Really nice. The other one includes multiple chips, but of course that was a wireless thing. I have to disassemble the actual joystick. Which is quite a hassle. But you gotta do what you gotta do. These are... I, I find these... Oh, I find these really interesting because 9 out of 10 times there's only a single chip that handles well basically everything including HID USB uh, things. Is there a screw over here as well? Yes, there is. There's, there's, oh, there are two screws actually below this rubber rubber sleeve that we have to remove on there you go so yeah there's our z-axis potentiometer that we also need to uh, to fix. Oh, you can just pull it off. Okay, well that's good to know. Well, that's this one. Maybe not the other one. Okay. Yes, we can remove this. Now we can remove these connectors and put this aside and now we should be able to at least get this out of the way like so there you go that's a lot better now the other potential meter the x-axis potential meter is still in place over here and here you can see the other half of that little ball I was talking about. We cannot. And why is that? Well, let's uh, remove the uh, joystick's base then, shall we? Nice big screws. I'm surprised that there's a, well, actually quite a large metal plate in this thing because it, it really gives this joystick weight 
and it really gives this joystick the confidence that when you well move your joystick uh, to a very extreme position that the joystick stays put and doesn't flip over it's amazing how much detail they've put in this uh, small joystick well I do think that it wasn't particularly cheap but I uh, like I said I bought it, bought it second hand and we need to take apart the actual potentiometer but I can't seem to see a screw inside the potentiometer or something that I can well push out or now if I can take apart the body I can see what's inside the potentiometer no uh, this is attached with molten plastic so I guess that it's a little bit pointless to take it apart anymore but I'm still wanting to actually repair this broken thing by gluing something in place that will hopefully oh, there we go. enable the, the thing to not move around anymore but let's get my hot glue gun out and uh, let's glue this in place as I said in the beginning of this video please let me know what you think about the uh, the Linux project do you think it's worth a while because it's, it's well, it's going to be really uh, taking some time. Please let me know, because I think it's going to be an awesome project. But it's entirely up to you. Alright, so I think it has heated up. Let's glue it in place. We are going to we'll put it back together. But it looks like it's all uh, in place again. So let's screw the base down. Oh wow, there's really quite some tension on this thing. Which is uh, good obviously. Now I think that it's a design mistake that they designed the pot meter to go like this with the wires coming out of here because if we, you did it the other way around it was a lot cheaper or this part was used in another joystick and they didn't feel like redesigning it but I would have routed it the other way around which yeah well saved uh, a little bit on wire length Because, yeah, you need to account for a little bit of a longer wire now. Let's put this back in its position. Uh, this joystick has definitely been used. These little uh, tabs have become a little bit wider. So I'm also going to glue that one down. To hopefully prevent the same thing from happening. And glue it down in the middle. Maybe that's also what's going on on the other potentiometer, but I can't glue that one in place, otherwise you wouldn't be able to take the thing apart. So I need to find something that I can insert in between, so that it's uh, able to stay put. Let's check if we've connected everything the way it's supposed to be connected. Yeah, pretty much. So let's put this back on here like so now this will be tightened and pulled downwards when we insert a screw I actually just want to check how this thing goes back together so we can see what we can and cannot do. This is how it's supposed to go together. Maybe I've got a smaller piece of metal that I can insert in between. It's still the question if this is going to fix the problem oh, that we're having. Let's see if this fits. Yeah, it does, but it needs glue and I need to 
to trim it to the correct length. There we go. Let me zoom in to show it to you. There's our mod. You can see it over here. Let's put on some hot glue to hopefully make it stay. Tiny amount of hot glue, because otherwise it won't fit. And tiny amount is not this best glue gun's friend. So, but I think I succeeded. So let's wait for that to dry up and I'll come back to you with assembling the uh, joystick. I think I didn't insert it properly uh, all the other times and attempts. So if you put on the other side of the joystick whilst having the joystick rotated, it's not centered and the spring is not working. But we do have something to celebrate because the button didn't fall out once. Which is quite an achievement if you saw my previ previous attempts. All right, so. That all feels good and nice. So let's head to the computer and check if the thing finally works. So I'm uh, back at the computer. Uh, let's open that game controllers menu again. And calibrate it once more because the calibration, if we did fix it, is now worthless. So that's yes. Push a button. And now I think it will work. Push a button. Yes, there you go. Excellent. This seems to actually work, which is excellent. All right, now this one also working. This one, yes, we did it. It is working. It's really cool. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and please let me know down below uh, what do you think of that Linux project again. And I hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, this is Tim. I hope you liked that video. If you want to see more, please make sure to subscribe. Uh, you can also share the video with your friends and hit that like button. I'll see you in the next one.